What's going on, wonderful people? It's Medicosis Perfectionalis, continuing our chemistry quick review playlist. General chemistry for busy people. Today we'll talk about the atomic number as well as the atomic mass slash mass number. Is there a difference between mass number and the average atomic mass? Yes, there is, and we'll talk about this today. The name of the element is sodium. The symbol of the element is Na, which came from the Latin natrium. How about potassium? K from kalium. The atomic number is the number of protons. It also happened to equal the number of electrons. Recall that protons are positively charged, while electrons are ew, negatively charged. Yikes. Then we have neutrons, which are neutral. If you add the number of protons to the number of neutrons, roughly speaking, you get the atomic mass. And what's that unit? Atomic mass unit. Please watch the videos in this chemistry quick review playlist in order and don't forget to download the periodic table from ptable.com and my notes from metacosisperfectionalis.com here is a very simplistic model of the atom here's the nucleus the nucleus has neutrons which are neutral and protons which are positively charged that's why overall the nucleus is positively charged because of the protons the number of protons in the nucleus equal the number of electrons rotating around the nucleus so to speak and we talked about all of this in the last video the subatomic particles include neutrons are neutral and they are located in the nucleus they do not carry a charge yet their mass is significant. How about protons? Positively charged. Where do I find them? In the nucleus. Do they carry a charge? Yes, it is positive. Is their mass significant? Yes, it is. Electrons negatively charged were around the nucleus at the electron cloud. Do they carry a charge? Yes, it's a negative charge. Should I worry about the mass? No, it's very tiny. You can neglect it. Atomic number is the number of protons, which happen to equal the number of electrons. If you have downloaded the periodic table from ptable.com, look at sodium, for example, which is number 11. You'll find it in the third row. Above sodium, there is number 11. That's the number of protons or the number of electrons in the neutral sodium atom. How about the atomic mass? Look under the sodium you'll find 22.990 that's the atomic mass or the mass number what's that roughly speaking the number of protons plus the number of neutrons and it looks like this please pause and review but hey metacosis how come this is not a whole number by whole i mean w-h-o-l-e because this number is a weighted average of the naturally occurring isotopes and we'll talk about this soon Let's first answer the question of the previous video. Here is zirconium. What are the number of protons here? Please pause and try to answer these yourself. Number of protons, atomic number, baby, 40 protons. How about electrons? Guess what? Also 40. The number of positively charged particles equal the number of negatively charged particles. That's why this is a neutral atom of zirconium. How about number of neutrons, roughly speaking? You get this mass number, 91 minus 40. So about 51 neutrons. On average, because this is a weighted average. How about the mass of one atom of zirconium? Guess what? It's the atomic mass, 91.224 atomic mass unit. It's a unit that measures the mass of an atom. Think of it as a gram, but way, 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 way smaller than one gram, of course, because this is for one atom. What's an isotope? The word iso means same. Tope means protons. So isotopes are atoms that have the same number of protons. Conversely, if I say isoelectronic, you know what that means? Iso means same, electronic means electrons. Oh, same number of electrons. Bingo, you got it. Isotopes, they have the same number of protons, which means they have the same atomic number. However, they have a different mass number or different atomic mass. Example, here are three isotopes of hydrogen. We have hydrogen 1, hydrogen 2, and hydrogen 3. Some terminology game. One is called proto. How about two? Dose, do, as in Deuteronomy. And three means try, as in triangle. Look, 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 all of them have the same number of protons. All of them have the same atomic number. That's why they are isotope. But they have different number of neutrons. That's why they have different atomic masses or mass number. How many neutrons are here? Well, 
1 minus 1 equals 0. How many neutrons here? 2 minus 1 equals 1. How many neutrons here? 3 minus 1 equals 2. And now we are ready to answer this question from the last video. What's the number of neutrons in carbon 12, carbon 13, and in carbon 14? Please pause and try to answer this yourself. By glancing at my periodic table, I see carbon as number 6, and it has 12.011. Atomic number is 6. Atomic mass or mass number, 12.011. Okie dokie. Number of neutrons equal. If we're talking about carbon-12, it's 12 minus 6 equals 6 neutrons. How about in carbon-13? It's 13 minus the same 6, which will give me 7 neutrons. How about carbon-14? It's 14 minus 6, which will give me 8 neutrons. Why is this? Because the number of neutrons plus the number of protons will give me the atomic mass or the mass number. This is carbon-12, this is carbon-13, carbon-14. Some metacosis pearls for the pros. If the number of protons equal the number of electrons, bingo, you have a neutral atom that carries no charge, neither positive nor negative. However, if the number of protons is not the same as the number of electrons, i.e. it's either the positive winning or the negative is winning, then it's a charged atom. Tell me more. If the protons exceed the number of electrons, then it's a positive ion called cation, such as sodium plus one. How about if the number of electrons exceed the number of protons, then the negatives win. A negative ion is called an anion, such as chloride minus one. What if the protons and neutrons are equal? However, the number of protons is not the same as the number of neutrons. That's an isotope. By now, you should understand everything written here. But why is this not a whole number? Because it's a weighted average. It's a weighted arithmetic mean. What's the weighted mean? We'll talk about this right now. But when you get the weighted mean of all of the naturally occurring isotopes of an element, let's say hydrogen or carbon, etc., get all of them, get their weighted mean, and that's how you end up with a number that's not a whole number. How's the weighted mean different from the ordinary mean? Great question. The ordinary mean will give each data point an equal weight. Each data point contributes equally to that mean. However, the weighted mean is different. Some data point contribute more than others. It is similar to George Orwell's animal form. All animals are equal, but some animals are more equal than others. I don't get it. Suppose that you have a bag of apples containing only two types of apples. Few big apples and many small apples. If you're calculating the good old mean, then each apple contributes equally, regardless of its size or the weight. It is not weighted. However, in the weighted arithmetic mean, the small apples contribute more. Why? I don't get it. Because there are more of them. They are more numerous. So they tip the scale in their favor. And the weighted mean will be skewed more towards the smaller ones. Let's take a concrete example. You have a sample that has 14 apples weighing 25 grams, 10 apples weighing 20 grams, 76 apples weighing 10 grams. Can you calculate the weighted average, i.e. the weighted arithmetic mean, i.e. the average atomic mass? Please pause, get a pen and paper, and try to answer this yourself. Here is how you do it. First order of business is to add all of these together. 14 plus 10 plus 76 equals 100 apples. Amazing. Then you take each one of these and you divide by 100. So I have 14 over 100. And then I have 10 over 100. And what's the last part? 76 over 100. Okie dokie. 14 over 100 is 0 0.14, 10 over 100 is 0 0.1, 76 over 100 is 0 0.76. Now what? Multiply each by its respective weight. So the first sample or the first group is multiplied by 25 grams. And the second group is multiplied by 20 grams. And the third group is multiplied by 10 grams. Get the answer for each one. So you'll have first answer, second answer, third answer. Add them together, that's your weighted average. That's the weighted mean, that's the average atomic mass. 
Let's do it with colors. Step number one, add all the apples. I have 100. 14 plus 10 plus 76 equals 100 apples. Step number two, I want ratios. 14 over the total, 10 over the total, and 76 over the total equals 0 0.14, 0 0.1, 0 0.76 respectively. Multiply each one by the corresponding weight. 0 0.14 times 25 grams equals 3.5 grams. 0 0.1 times 20 grams equals 2 grams. 0 0.76 times 10 grams equals 7.6 grams. Add them together, 13.1. Not a whole number? Yes, it's not a whole number because it's a weighted average. You want another way of doing this? You can say 14 times 25 plus 10 times 20 plus 76 times 10 over the total number of apples, which is 100, you'll get the same answer, which is 13.1 grams. How is the weighted mean different from the ordinary arithmetic mean? Let's do the ordinary arithmetic mean. 25, 20, 10, what's their mean? 25 plus 20 plus 10 over three equals 18.33333. Oh, it's kind of in the middle, exactly precisely because each apple is contributing equally. Conversely, look at the weighted average. It is skewed towards the smaller apples. 13 is closer to 10 than anything else. Why is that medicosis? Because the smaller apples are more numerous. Oh, it's a weighted average. As for the measuring unit, you're using the measuring unit that you are given, which is grams. But if I gave you atoms in AMU, then you use AMU, atomic mass unit. So why is the atomic mass not a whole number? Because it's a weighted average. Is there a difference between mass number and the average atomic mass? Yes, indeed. The mass number is the mass of a particular isotope. Just one ice, pick one. Okay, carbon 12. All right, that's the mass number of carbon 12, i.e. the number of protons plus the number of neutrons of this particular carbon 12. Boom, you have the mass number. But the average atomic mass is the weighted average of all, all, not just one, all of the naturally occurring isotopes of an element, carbon-12 and carbon-13 and carbon-14, get me the weighted average, that's your average atomic mass in AMU. See, chemistry makes so much sense once you understand what the flip you're talking about. Please download the periodic table from ptable.com and memorize the elements from number one until number 38, and I'll see you in the next video. But before you go, here's a question for you. What's the hyphen notation for an atom or an isotope with 16 protons and 18 neutrons? Is it A, B, C, D, E, F, G? H, I, or J? Let me know your answer in the comment section. You'll find the answer key in the next video in this general chemistry quick review playlist. If you're struggling with renal physiology and how your kidney handles water and electrolytes like sodium, potassium, chloride, calcium, magnesium, and much more, download my kidney physiology course at medicosisperfectionalist.com. Download my notes on my website, and if you'd like me to personally tutor you, go to medicosisperfectionalist.com. Join my YouTube membership program to get instant access to more than 300 premium videos. Smash like, subscribe, hit the bell, support my channel here or here. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalist, where medicine makes perfect sense.